Hi, fellow Blender users. Here's is yet another video tutorial on Blender 3D. As you can see, I'm now in Blender.2.5 beta version. And this uh, tutorial will be a quick tutorial on how to apply the rig to the uh, Velociraptor. As I, we did in the previous version of uh, 2.49b, I think it was. Anyhow, so let's go to work. I'm not gonna redo the entire mesh, I'm gonna reuse it from previous, and I'm gonna also reuse the geometry itself. One thing I will need to do with the geometry is to set up the AK constraints or inverse kinematics. So let's get going. So go into File, Append, and find the folder you have the previous um, blend file. And if you do not have, have it yet, you will have to follow the tutorial since I will not share the blend file with anyone. So choose that one. Uh, I'm naming Raptor with rig dot blend use mesh and cube and append. As we can see, nothing has changed. That is actually a good thing. Select the cube and we go under a big data. Here we choose cube dot zero zero one, and we can also actually delete that one if we can I couldn't yes let's rename this to Raptor this will make change the cube to the Raptor that we just appended just gonna add the subdivision surface modifier like so makes it look a little bit better and now I'm gonna do this exactly the same thing with the armature. So file, append, go back up, armature, armature, link append from library. And again, nothing will change, change it. So I'm gonna put shift A, add, armature, single bone, go under a big data, and choose. Here it shows armature. And now we have the armature. Move it in. Where it should be, roughly. And now to find the extra modifier, we go to object. Scroll down and, and to display. And it shows x ray. And there we go. Then I'm going to move it to Lay 2 by pressing M, choose Lay 2, and press Enter. I did press Enter, you know. Here you go. And so now we have the mission one layer and the rig another layer. Okay, to redo the inverse kinematics, there's a little bit change to that, so let's get on with the tutorial here. As you can see, we're going into post mode with control tab. We choose post mode down here. Move the mouse bone. You can see that the uh, A constraint is broken. So let's redo that. Select the bone you want to add the A constraint to. And actually, you, you will see that there's one of the object constraints and one bone constraints. It's a look can all look, look a little bit confusing but the yeah, difference between these, these two. This one is just for objects. If you do, if I now go to object constraints, add constraint, 
inverse kinematics. We get this error mirror. Icon constraint can only be added to bones. If you get that, that error message, you are in the wrong place. We need to go over to armature con bone constraints. And then we can add an inverse kinematics. So I'm going to target armature bone feet. Uh, left M and there it is and again count one two three four one two three four and check that it's working and it does and yes redo that add constraints add constraint it's a little bit tricky Armature and one nice future in the 2.5 beta and or in just the 2.5 version, you can type in the name feet dot or oh, whatever it goes. You can just give feet here. And there we go. Right, master. And chain line for us is. The um, rig is the same on both sides. Check it out, it's working. There it does. And I do the same thing on this one. Armature. And LM. One, two, three. I've been put this. One, two, three. Uh, hey, there we go. Armature, armature, hand, right, and chain down free. And now we can see we have AK constraints working again. So let's back go bring more the um, wrapper again. And again on the armature, go to object mode, select the raptor, shift select the rig itself, and press Ctrl P, and choose weight automatic weights under armature deform weight automatic weights. Here we go. And now we can go back to post mode. And move with the master bone, and we can see the mesh is following around nicely. And again, we have to check for example, I think we got one here. Yes, it is in someone on this chain link is uh, messing up with the uh, lag like, a little bit too much. So I'm gonna move that. Like so. A little bit extreme pose, but uh, select that bone. Since that bone is most likely to be the co the one affecting the lag here. Select the raptor. Go to white paint. Bring up the tool shelf by pressing T. Bring that up, and then we should find a tool. Change to subtract. Queen interruptions. Spray, and then just start the subtracting the bone leg here. There we go. Whoops, I'm not gonna you know, grab, not remove it. And there we go. Now it's not affecting it as it should, shouldn't. Snip that back to the rest position. And that is basically how we do. Can check the 
mouse. Now it's working. That is how you apply the rig in a blender 2.5 beta. Have fun!